Thanks, Flush. Hmm. Drupet. Yes, Tapstar. I'm a bit worried about Flush. He seems a bit sad lately. Oh. Well, he does work very hard and people forget how important the toilet is. Yes, but I just wish there was some way we could cheer Flush up. Well, we could tell him what happens to the water when people flush the half flush for number ones. And the full flush for number two. <laughs> that's a sensational idea, Drabet. But, you know, that's the one thing about water I know very little about. <gasps> Let's explore the sewage system. Oh. I'd better put on my overalls if we're going underground. Oh, Tapstar, we're not going into the sewer. Let's start at the Shoalhaven Water Depot. Here we are at the Shoalhaven Water Depot, where they store lots of things to keep water flowing. I think I know why we're here, Drippet. Pipes! <laughs> yes, pipes take water to our home and they take our wastewater away. So the pipes take away the wastewater from our homes and schools and businesses, but uh, where does it go? Follow me, Tapstar. All right. Where are we now, Drippet? We are at the sewerage treatment plant. Did you know that in the Shoalhaven there are 13 sewerage treatment plants? We're at Kalala Bay at the moment. But the water doesn't look very dirty. No. In fact, it looks really clean. Mm. I wonder how they get it so clean. Perhaps we should go and speak to someone who knows what they're talking about. Good idea. Let's go. Oh, look. Oh, there's someone there. Hello. Hello. Hi, I'm Dan. Hello, Hello Dan. Dan. Would you be able to show us what happens at the sewage treatment plant? Sure, come on up. Oh, that's up exciting. Thank you, Dan. So, what's going on here? Well, this is the inlet works where the wastewater from the community is first transported via a series of pump stations. Um, what's wastewater? Wastewater is the water that comes from the, the home or the, the business, which includes shower, sink, washing machine, toilet, Ooh. all that type of water. And what's that over there? Ah, this over here is the screen that filters out all the inorganic material. What's inorganic material? Well, inorganic materials, things like wet wipes, cotton tips, gloves, toys, all the things you don't want to go down the toilet. Mm. Also, I found this yesterday down there. Oh, oh. oh, I don't think you'd want to put those back no. in your mouth. <laughs> Yuck. Oh, um, and so what happens next? After it goes through the screens, it goes to the next part of the treatment, Ooh. which is just down there. Shall we go and have a look? Let's go. Sounds good. Thanks, Dan. So, Dan, what happens here? Well, this is the next step in the treatment process. So after it leaves the inlet works, where the inorganic material is removed, mm -hmm. it comes here to remove the organic material. Oh, and how does that work? Well, there's a few steps. The first step is aeration, where the water and mixture has oxygen added to it. Mm -hmm. And this helps the bacteria thrive and start to remove that organic material. Is that that machine? That's that machine over there, yeah. Oh, wow. Um, and then what happens? After that, the material settles out with a liquid on the top and into a sludge at the bottom. Ooh. So what happens to the liquid? The liquid on the top is decanted and sent to the next section of treatment. And the solids go to the sludge lagoons. Sludge, sludge lagoons? Can we go there? Yeah, let's go. All right. <laughs> so this is the sludge lagoon. What happens here, Dan? Well, this is where the sludge is stored. The liquid is then removed via a centrifuge mm -hmm. and sent back to the treatment works. And the solids is sent to a holding area to be dried. Oh, oh can we see that? Yeah, let's go. let's go. So is this where the sludge ends up? Yeah, the sludge comes here to dry to form what's called biosolids. Biosolids? What are they? Biosolids is the organic waste at the end of the treatment process, and it's high in nutrients, as seen by all the plants growing here. The plants are very useful in helping the sludge dry as well into the biosolids. So then what happens when it's dry? Well, since it's nutrient rich, it gets sent to farms to be spread to help improve soil. Wow, oh. that's the farms. <laughs> Can we see some? Yeah, let's go dig some up. 
After the decanting process, the water comes here for the final stage of treatment. Oh, um, what are in those tanks? These here are filters that are filled with sand and anthracite. Oh, and then these pipes? Well, these pipes here is treated with chlorine gas mm -hmm. and then the water goes to be treated with UV light. Ultraviolet! Yes, just like the sun. Oh. But after here, it then goes to the holding dam. But would you like to see the finished product? Yes, yes please. please. All right, to the lab. To Go the on. lab! Here we are in the lab. And here's an example of some of the samples we've got and test. The first one's from the aeration tank and we test settlement of the sludge. And you can see the sludge at the bottom. Uh, this one here is a bucket sample of the decant and we test for ammonium and nitrate. And this one here is the finished product from the discharge point that gets sent to the farms. Wow, that sure is a lot of testing you do here. It sure is. Let's go to the farm. <laughs> yes, let's. <laughs> well, we're here today at Matt's Dairy Farm. Thank you for having us here, Matt. Now, how many cows do you have? Yeah, so we milk 800 cows. 800? Wow, wow, that's a lot of milk. <laughs> um, Dan was telling me before that you use the recycled water from the sewage treatment plant. How do you use that? Yeah, we use it for washing out the dairy yards when we're finished and for helping cool the milk. And then we also use it for irrigating the pastures to grow the grass for the cows. Wow, that's a lot. What about the biosolids? I hear you use that as well. Yeah, we use the biosolids uh, for growing out um, corn crops to feed the cows in the summer. Fantastic. Wow. So it's really useful, isn't it? It sure is. Mm. Thank you so much, Matt. Thank no you. Worries. It has been so interesting learning about what happens to our wastewater from our homes and how it can be reclaimed and used right here on the farm. Yes, I can't wait to get back and tell Flush. That should cheer him up. It's so